Right, ready to go. I'm just up out. Where are you off to? Just out. Ooh, am I going to be in this week's video? Well, you are now, obviously. Ooh, 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 kitty. I suppose you're off to your car to talk to yourself. I wonder how many takes that will be. You better make sure your phone's fully charged. No, don't worry, it'll be fine. Is it a stupid video you're doing this week? All my videos are stupid. They're not meant to be serious, just a bit of fun. Anyway, see you later. I'm now wearing glasses because I can't see the bloody script. He's so going to need one of these. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Carl. Today's video, we're going to go Blu-ray hunting. I haven't done one of these videos for a while, so it's about time I did one. There's a couple of titles I want to pick up. I'm going to take you to a town not too far from me called Woking. Now, Woking back in the day used to be a fairly big and good shopping place to go and get all your bits. But like many places over the years, things just started to close down. HMV disappeared from there. The only place to get physical media in a big shopping centre like that was CEX, which was such a shame. I think it's got something to do with the high rent on these properties on the high streets. So please lower the rents and get these shops back on the high street where they belong. Thank you, that's my rant out of the way. So we're gonna head off to Woking because there's a very good reason why I'm taking you to Woking. HMV is finally back on the high street there. These HMVs are popping up everywhere, which is such good news. I think it has something to do with us slot in the community buying all these movies because they were closing down everywhere. Now they have coming back stronger than ever. I did a video not so long ago on a local HMV not too far from me in Staines that popped up after going. So it's great news. So we're going to be heading into that HMV, taking a look around, seeing what's out, seeing how big it is. That's the most important thing and how good it is. Also be going to CEX as well. Take a look in there. It's not a very big CEX, but we will have a look in there. I may, even if we have time, take a look inside a charity shop to see what I can pick up in there. I don't really go to charity shops. I don't know why, because I really should, because they have some good bargains in there there's also a couple of things to show you as well in Woking they do have a huge alien giant tripod from the novel by H.G. Wells War of the Worlds I will show you that giant tripod which like I say is in the films War of the Worlds and they do have some larger than life statues in Woking which I will show you they're very tall statues, a lot taller than me. But then again, everybody is. Anyway, that's enough talking from me. Let's get ourselves off to Woking. I've just made it to Woking. Plan, I think I'll show you guys the War of the Worlds tripod first. Then we're heading to the Peacock Centre, grab a coffee, some breakfast, and then we're heading to HMV and a few other shops. And then I'll show you my pickups at the end. I know what you're thinking, sexy white legs. <laughs> This is the Ambassador, which has a theatre so many stars have performed on that stage, including comedians. There's also a cinema inside as well. We are here. This is the Martian from War of the Worlds, what I wanted to show you. The Martian was installed by artist Michael Condrond to commemorate the 100th anniversary of H.D. Wells classic, The War of the Worlds. In the book, these huge tripods wreck havoc in Horsell Common, which isn't too far from here. This one stands at 23 feet tall and it was opened by Carol Vorderman. Right, time for a bit of shopping. Let's head inside the Peacocks. This one is the first statue. You can see just how tall she is against me, but then I'm not very tall myself. <laughs> oh, I need a coffee. Let's go inside Costa. A 
as you can see behind me there is the brand new HMV. Let's go and take a look inside. Right, it's time. Let's head inside this brand new HMV. Wow, look at the size of this shop. I'm going to do this a bit different. I'm going to start with the Funkos because it's the first thing that I've actually come to. Good selection of Funkos, lots of special edition Funko Pops. There's a Godzilla vs Kong special edition, Van Helsing. And down the bottom, we've got it and Halloween special edition as well. A good selection of 2D tunes figures. As we head down loads of other figures, I should have taken a look at that ALF figure. There's a Jaws 2D Terrors. As you've just seen, these figures go on and on. There's one for my good friend Evander, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. <laughs> and there's also Flash figure there as well. Now, because we're in Woking, there is a Paul Weller section. Fan bloody tastic. My daughter is so lucky. She's going to see Blur, and Paul Weller is the supporting act. When I said you're so lucky, she went, Who's Paul Weller? I don't think I've ever seen so many comic books. Look at them. I don't know too much about anime, but this one is for all you anime fans out there. And the music section is at the back of the shop. Oh, I don't know, is it very big for music? Not too sure, more physical media, I think. Right, okay, into the 4K section. As you can see, we've got Deep Impact, Plane, a good selection of 4Ks. We've got the Superman collection. James Dean, Rebel Without Cause. Red Eye, I was tempted on Red Eye and we got Texas Chainsaw Massacre next door. Into the collection editions, you can see we've got HMV premiums. Not too much of a selection on Arrow Label or Criterion, in my personal opinion. We have Puss and Boots on DVD and Blu-ray. Plane, I got that last week. Megan. Also a two movie collection of Puss and Boots on DVD, I think that is. I did pick this one up a few weeks ago. Is this movie really poo? And just below, we got Magic Mike's, yeah, Last Dance. Say no more. Next up, Primani. We've got God Save the King t-shirts. Now, what's your thoughts on this Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy t-shirt? I 
t-shirts bloody everywhere. There's a four t-shirt, another Guardians of the Galaxy t-shirt. This is what I wanted to show you. These larger than life statues first appeared in Woking in August 2017, and they were meant to be temporary to advertise an exhibition at a light box featuring the work of Woking born sculptor, Sean Henry. But the council decided to keep them. Apparently there's another one at the train station. You can't come to Woking without going inside the sex shop. Look at the price of that creep show, 35 pounds, wow. There's Magpie Movies, favorite movie, Gladiator. Gremlins on the end for 15 pounds, a two movie collection. I wasn't too keen on this movie, but I keep looking at it. Doomsday, two pounds, any good? This is a bloody good movie for a pound. Mel Gibson's Mad Max for 10 pounds. Urban Legend, I did like Urban Legend. And they've got the free movie pack for £15. Lovely image on the front. Eastbound and down, loading up and trucking. <laughs> Brilliant movies, Smoking a Bandit, one, two and three. Although the third one wasn't so good. And we've also got the Spider-Man trilogy. Right, time to go back to the car. So I've made it back home. I couldn't go through any of my pickups in the car park in Woking because my battery on my phone was dead. Note to self, Carly, make sure your bloody phone's fully charged in future. Yeah, I got the charger. I did say you should have fully charged your phone. Yeah, thanks for that, Carly. A little bit too late now. <laughs> so that was Woking. Brilliant news that HMV is back in Woking. Great news for the high street. We can finally get physical media in Woking. Massive thank you to the staff in the HMV for letting me film inside the shop. It wasn't a too bad HMV, a good selection of everything in there, including movies. I did find the arrow label and criterion section a little bit too small, but I did get an Arrow label pickup that I wanted to pick up, so they did have it in stock. So I can't really moan too much. What did I forget? Well, I've done it again, haven't I? I forgot to go to a charity shop. I will definitely try and remember to look inside charity shops in the future. I just keep forgetting. I didn't really venture outside in Woken, I sort of stayed inside, so maybe that's why I actually forgot. Anyway, gonna go through my pickups. The first thing I picked up, all these pickups are from HMV by the way. The first one I picked up, I am going to return it, but it is the Toonie Terrors and it's Jaws. I've never seen a Jaws Toonie Terror. Normally they have Michael Myers, Fred Krueger, all the horror figures basically. But they've actually got jaws in that HMV in Woking. Can you see the blood around the mouth? Very sorry about that glare. If we spin it round to the back, it was quite expensive for £29.99p. And I've noticed a dent, a massive dent in the corner there. So I'm going to take this one back, I think. But I wanted to show you jaws on the Toonie Terrors anyway so on to my movies now the next movie i picked up well sorry the first movie i picked up is an arrow label title now this movie has got slated i might even do a review on this one i'm going to go into this movie open-minded it's so bad alan toner and jamie powell sold their copies straight away this is how bad this movie is apparently meant to be but i just love the artwork or image on the front of the slip. It reminds me of I Know What You Did Last Summer. I picked up Lover's Lane. I just love that cover. We've got the woods. We've got this guy with a hook and a car. If I spin you around to the back, yes, probably for $17.99. I probably should have waited till it went down in the Arrow label sale. But... I'll make the most of it. I'll do a video or something on this one. 
because it's meant to be so bad. Can it really be that bad? Well, I'm about to find out when I watch it, but I just love this image, and that is Lover's Lane. The next movie I picked up was out this week. I haven't seen this one. Hoots and Boots. Now, I have seen a trailer to this movie, and I thought the trailer looked pretty good. It looked like it was quite funny, and I've have a feeling this one could be better than the first Puss in Boots movie. It's on the slim cover or case, which I didn't really like at first, but a while ago I was moaning that they should make the Blu-ray cases thinner because that way I can get a lot more of these movies on my shelf. Providing the inside Blu-ray case is tough, that is. I don't like them ones where they're easily broken. You can tear the actual sleeve of the uh, artworks. But that is Puss and Boots on a slim case with a slip on standard Blu-ray. Now, the last movie I picked up is in 4K. Now, if you cast your minds back, those of you that are old enough to the year 2000, it was meant to be the end of the world, that sort of thing. So in 1998, two movies came out. We've got Thunder. Two movies came out which were very similar in the same year in 1998. One told a good story. The other one was quite action-y. I'm talking about Deep Impact and Armageddon, starring Bruce Willis. Well, this has arrived on 4K, Deep Impact. I love the slip on this. We've got this shiny slip. If you can see the artwork without that glare on the bottom. And then round to the back. And that's Deep Impact, starring Morgan Freeman. And I just thought this one told a really good story. It was quite sad, where Armageddon was more action-y, but... Yeah, so Deep Impact in 4K was my last pickup. Those were the three movies I actually wanted to pick up today and I managed to get them in Woking. Cast your mind back to the beginning of this video when I said you couldn't get any physical media in Woking before this HMV has arrived and I've managed to get all three that I wanted to pick up. That tiny Toony Terrors Jaws I will send back but I just wanted to show you just in case you're interested in getting it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this Blu-ray hunting trip in Woking in Surrey. If you like this video, please do give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe if you can. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.